what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel for those of you who do not know me my name is Lauren welcome to my beauty space so today's video as you can tell by the title we are going to be discussing the new makeup forever powder foundation which you guys I am so excited about this video. I've never done anything like this. I have no experience with powder foundations. I've never used anything like this before. I have always strictly been a liquid foundation, then you set it with powder. Um, but this is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin 12 Hour Blurring Powder Foundation. So I have heard so many great things about this and I've been dying to test this out. I haven't played with it or anything. It's been sitting in my little basket here just waiting to be used. So today is finally the day. I'm going to give you my first impressions and we are going to do a full day wear test. But before we get into all of that, if you have not already, please go ahead and subscribe down below. And don't forget to hit the little bell notification down below as well next to the subscribe button. That way you are notified every time I upload so you won't miss one of my future videos. And without further ado, let's start playing. So like I said, I have never done anything like this on my channel before and I've never really used a product like this on its own before. Um, today I'm just going to be running some errands and out and about so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to do a little bit of a wear test. It's pretty rainy, gloomy, like muggy outside so we'll see how well this guy holds up in the heat. And so yeah, this is the matte velvet skin Blurring Powder Foundation from Makeup Forever. I don't even know how like to go about applying something like this. Um, it says next generation mattifying foundation that blurs imperfections for 12 hours and leaves a second skin finish. The formula contains the latest generation flexi fit puzzle complex, which adapts to the movements of the skin while also letting it breathe. Your complexion is left looking velvety and natural, never chalky. This foundation is also water resistant for a long lasting matte look. What? How is a powder water resistant? Um, and then it says application techniques for optimal coverage. Apply the foundation using the black side of the sponge. Use the white side for a lighter makeup look. So this is a medium to high coverage foundation and it's suitable for all skin types. So in here you get 0.38 ounces and it is $38. So you don't get as much as a liquid foundation. Obviously a one ounce powder foundation would be huge. Um, but I have a feeling this would last a really, really long time. And I have mine in the shade Y365. So let's go ahead and pop her open. So this is just like the regular Makeup Forever packaging. It's like a tin kind of compact. Um, so when you open it, ooh, this might be, ooh, the color might be all right for me. You get a nice mirror in here. And then here is the sponge that it comes with. And like it said on the back, there is a white side and then a black side. Normally in something like this, like a blush or a bronzer, if it comes with like a sponge or like a little applicator, I always throw them away. Like I've never used them before, but since the package and the directions does tell me to use one or the other sides of this, keep this. Don't throw this away. Usually if it tells you to use the sponge, that's how you get the best application. To get us started, I'm just going to prime with my Tatcha Silk Canvas. I like this primer because it's not too mattifying and it's not too greasy or oily, but it is hydrating and it fills in lines and it just smooths everything out really nicely. I think it's a very good like in-between primer. It's not overly drying or anything and it always just gives you such a perfect canvas, like it says. So for those of you who don't know, just to give you a little backstory on my skin type so you have a better idea of how this applies and wears on me, I have combo skin. I'm usually oily like in my T-zone and then experience some dryness like on the perimeters of my face. Normally I lean towards products that are definitely a lot more mattifying for myself. I just like that look. Um, I live in a very humid climate. So I just find that mattifying products last on me a little bit longer in this specific location. So one thing I'm a little bit fuzzy on, would I conceal first? because concealer doesn't like lay on top of powder, right? But I don't wanna use this dark of a shade to set my concealer, cause this would be like my all over face shade. But I just don't understand how you would, let me see on Sephora if there's like some extra directions because I, like I said, I have absolutely no experience with this. Okay, so to achieve full coverage application, 
Apply it using the sponge side. Use short strokes. Begin applying at the center of the face, blending outwards and repeating until your desired coverage is achieved. But it doesn't really tell you like what order to apply your products. Should I have even applied primer? Yeah, you have to apply primer, right? All right, well, I guess I'm gonna apply some concealer first because I just don't see how it would lay nicely on top of a powder foundation. So I'm just gonna go in with my Too Faced Born This Way. And this is in the shade Vanilla. This is the multi, actually, 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 actually. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this ColourPop No Filter Concealer, just because I think this shade is a little bit dark for me right now. And I'm going for kind of an everyday makeup look. So I don't want to like be super highlighted and just use this on its own. Also, I don't think this is quite full coverage enough for me. And as you can tell, I have not been sleeping like, by the bags under my eyes. And normally I would blend this out with a beauty blender, but I'm in a hurry, so I'm just gonna go in with a Morphe, this doesn't say what it is, but it's just like a tapered blending brush kind of thing. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that out and cover my eyelids a little bit, just where I have any discoloration. I'm gonna kind of like spot conceal, I guess. Is that, is that the word I'm looking for? Like, so yesterday I got a facial and I got some extractions done. So I have a little bit of like bruising and like redness discoloration. So this is also a great time to see how full coverage this really is. So I'm wondering, hmm, I have some discoloration here. So I think I'm going to spot conceal that, but we'll leave this side not spot concealed just to see. So I'll do a little bit of both. I do suffer from a little bit of redness and like scarring, that kind of stuff. I do not have perfect skin. I'm wondering if I should just set my under eyes a little bit because I don't want them to be as dark as my face. I don't want them super highlighted. Um, so I'm just gonna go in with my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder and just do a little bit of setting. All right, now that we're all primed and concealed, ready to go, let's dive right in. So again, this is the sponge that I'm going to be using and I'm gonna use the black side. So both sides are really like, this thing's so squishy and soft. This side is like a foam and this side feels more of like a velvet kind of material. So I guess I'm gonna go in with the black side and it says start in the middle of your face and drag outward. Okay, here we go. I'm so nervous. What? And I'm just trying to blend it like into where I concealed and I'm just taking whatever's left on the sponge and just like dragging it a little bit over just so everything blends really seamlessly and I don't look like a raccoon, I guess. <laughs> Down my neck. So this side when it's blended in nicely looks good but this, we, we got some work to do still. I feel like I'm using so much. It's not really spreading like that easily. Why can everyone get such good coverage out of this? I feel like I'm not. Maybe I have to like tap it. Does that work? having a really hard time like deciding how I feel. It's definitely really matte and that part's like nice. It looks, this color is a little, little dark for me. So that's one thing I would say is kind of not an issue, but if you're using this, like I feel like you have to pick your exact foundation shade because you can't go in and really like lighten it up with concealer because do you do your concealer first? I don't know. If you've tried this out, like, let me know in the comments down below. I'm a little confused on, like, the order of applying things. 
But I just, like, as a rule of thumb, I've always learned you don't apply, like, liquid products on top of powder. On some of these blemishes, I think that you definitely have to spot conceal those. It looks a lot better on this side where I did add a little bit of the concealer. But it literally feels so weightless. It feels like I'm not wearing anything on my face. So it's a little scary once you're applying it, but I feel like once you have it on, it's pretty good. So I would say coverage is definitely medium. Um, it's really pretty for like an everyday foundation. You just want to slap something on really quickly. I think it's pretty for that. I don't know that I would wear this to like a special event or use it on a client that's going to like a ball or a formal or anything or like prom, anything like that. I just don't see it being super, super full coverage. I wonder how this sits on top of liquid foundation though, if you need like a lot of coverage, if this sits nicely to set a liquid foundation because I use like the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder and things like that, like MAC Mineralized Skin Finish to set faces. Um, so I'm wondering if this would add just a super airbrush effect. All right, so I am all done with my makeup. I just did like an easy everyday look and for some odd reason, I was feeling extra and decided to put some lashes on. Um, so it is currently 11.50 right now. Hello, lights, thank you so much. It's currently 11.51 right now. I am actually starving, so I'm gonna go have some lunch. And like I said, today I'm just running errands. I have some work to do on the computer. So I will, of course, check in with you all throughout the day. So far, I think it looks really nice. All of my powder products laid on top really, really beautifully. Didn't have trouble blending anything at all. Um, yeah, even my highlight, which is supposed to be like a natural highlight, looks so smooth and just like seamless. I'm really, really happy with it. Like I said, I don't think it's completely full coverage because I still have some discoloration peeking through there, but I think that can be easily fixed with just a little bit of concealer. I should have spot concealed. Um, in case you're wondering what highlight I am wearing, I'm wearing Beauty Bakery, the So Icy Illuminator, and I have mine in the shade Ice. This is what it looks like. Um, I did review these products. If you're interested, I will link them down below. And a quick shout out also to the lashes that I'm wearing. I've been testing out these new Unicorn Cosmetics lashes. First of all, look at this packaging. It's so cute. Um, they are a UK based brand, I believe. And these are in the style Majestic AF. They're just really wispy and kind of spiky, but still like flirty and girly. So far I've noticed their lashes are at very, very good quality. They're always sold out, so scoop these up if you can. Um, I got these part of the influencer bundle, the Insta famous influencer bundle, whatever, and it came with three pairs of lashes in different styles. So far, I think they're really, really great quality. This is my third time wearing this pair, so you can definitely get a few uses out of them. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the details on my face. I can list everything else down below in the description box if you guys are interested in the remainder of the products that I use. But that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys in a few hours. Also, before I go, I always like to give you guys an idea of what it looks like in natural light, because to me, that's like most important. You're gonna be out and about all day. Um, so, so far, this is what it looks like. Really smooth, but just a few things peeking through there. Overall, I think it's really, really nice, super lightweight. You can't feel it on your skin at all, and it definitely is very, very matte. So yep, this is what we're working with in natural daylight. I think it looks pretty good. What is up you guys? So it is currently a little bit after two and I just finished running some errands and I just wanted to do a little check-in with you guys. Why is it so orange in here? So far, everything is still looking really, really good. It's been three hours, I think. I'm feeling as though I'm not as matte as when I left the house. Um, it is pretty warm today. It is like 73 degrees. Uh, I have my shopping buddy with me here. We have to run to the grocery store really quick. Um, but yeah, it's 73, really humid, kind of muggy, like the weather. Um, for the most part though, I think it still looks really, really good. I am, like I said, a little bit shiny. Maybe I need to use a mattifying primer with it. Um, and I am looking not dry, but it is clinging to some like 
breakouts that are drying up kind of thing. So, I mean, it's not anything horrible. It's probably the same. That would be like if I use a liquid product and set it with powder, kind of like the same amount of like texture. Um, but I think my skin still looks really, really smooth. I'm very fortunate that I just have a few places that I need to spot conceal. So this foundation works really, really well for me but I would just manage your expectations. It is not the most like full coverage, full coverage, full coverage thing that I've ever used. I do have more full coverage foundations, but for a powder, like it's pretty good. All right, you guys, I am back. It is currently 9.33 at night and I am so ready to take all of this makeup off my face. I... <laughs> So this is what I look like without any touch-ups or messing with the foundation or anything after about 10 hours. Like I said, I did have a pretty full day. I do look pretty dewy. I don't think it lasted on me quite as long, so I think that I would definitely need to use a mattifying primer. Didn't get cakey, but it's just not matte. I was expecting this to be super matte all day long. Um, and it kind of wore off like on my nose a little bit and then like on my forehead It's just a shiny disaster So what I quickly wanted to do was just apply a little bit more and see If you can build this up if you can fix it a little bit throughout the day I just want to see how it like absorbs oils and how it lays on top of skin If this is a product that you need to take with you and kind of reapply as you go Although this does claim to be 11 hours of wear. I don't I don't know if that's the case. So here you can already see a huge difference. I think it's like completely rubbed off on my cheeks. Like I can do like one swipe on my forehead and you'll see a difference. Like, can you see that? So I feel as though this is a product that you would have to like throw in your bag, take with you and use as like almost like a blotting powder. When I first applied it though, I thought it was really pretty, super smooth and matte, and everything laid on top of it really nicely. I just still get the vibe that it looks like dirty on me, like almost muddy. I just feel like I can't get like a super smooth application. I mean, you can see the difference from the bottom of my face to the top of my face. Like this we're off pretty quickly in my opinion. I don't know that I love this as much as everybody else is. I think maybe I'm just not used to it, but for $38, this is kind of expensive. I definitely should have spot concealed better. I realized that the second that I applied this the first time, and I'm really just wondering if my lack of experience with powder foundations is really like coming into factor right now because so many people have loved this and I just, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but if you're blotting with this because it is pigmented, it's not a translucent powder, it does have pigments in it, it's gonna cover any like bronzer or any highlighter or anything like that that you've applied to your face. So I just, I don't know. Like I said, if you've used this before or if you use powder foundations, if you have any tips or tricks, please let me know in the comments down below. I really want to know what I'm doing wrong because I really love the idea of this for summer and for like an easy, like quick, no makeup makeup look. I think this is awesome, but I'm just not having like the most amazing experience with this like everybody else is. Um, I think that I need to play around with it a little bit more. I don't think it lasted the time that it claims on me at all. I think that I should have taken it off like a few hours ago. I don't even think I should have waited this long. But I really wanted to give it a fair shot. Um, I think that this would probably be a product I use to set a liquid foundation. I don't know if wearing this on its own is quite for me. If you do really like powder foundations and if you had good experiences with them, you know how to use them, you know what you're getting from a powder foundation, you like your expectations are managed, then you might really, really enjoy this. I just, it's okay. I don't think it's worth the price tag to me. I don't think I would purchase another one of these at this point in time. I definitely need to play with it a little bit more. I hate when like first impressions and wear tests kind of end like this because I feel like I leave you guys hanging like I don't know if I like it I don't know if I dislike it I really have a lot more work and research to do with this guy so if you 
are interested in testing it out, you can always return it if it doesn't work out for you. You can return things to Sephora as long as they have less than 10% of the product missing. So I think one use you would definitely be able to return this. But I don't know, packaging is nice. It's sturdy, you get really cute mirror in here. I would probably throw this in my purse, like I said, for touch-ups. I just don't know that I would rely on this to be a full coverage face and last for the time I need it to. I typically am kind of like a one-time application and like I'm done. I don't like to do a lot of touch-ups. The only touch-ups I'll really do is like a lip color and occasionally like eyelash glue if my eyelash is coming off. I don't wanna spend a whole bunch of time in the bathroom powdering my nose, reapplying highlight, all of that stuff. So like I said, I just need to dedicate a little bit more time to figuring out how this wears best for me and what products I should be using with it. I, I'm going to blame it on user error. I don't think this is a bad product, especially because I've gotten so many good reviews on it and I've heard so many amazing things. So I really think it's me personally, but I just don't want to recommend something to you guys unless I'm like 100% sold on it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye.